New at 5 tonight, there is uh, the pushback against a proposal to increase the toll rates along Dulles Greenway. It is growing tonight. Right now, it costs you just under $6 to take the highway in Loudoun County during peak hours. Yeah, but if the state passes this proposal, it would cost you more than $8 yeah. one way. Oof. Our Matthew Torres is live near the Dulles Greenway tonight. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't have to pay the high fees, Matthew, to get there. But you were listening today to this state hearing, and we're curious about what you heard. You know what? I'm lucky that we do have a work vehicle that we can take this tollway, but no doubt just how much this is going to cost if it passes is infuriating a lot of residents. That meeting was held down in Richmond where officials there will eventually determine the future of this proposal. But I'm standing outside one of the entrance ramps to this highway where drivers can see the board of just how much the tolls cost. Residents, workers and lawmakers all agree that not only is it so expensive already, it's preventing drivers from using Dulles Greenway. This is totally unacceptable. A swift reaction from this Ashburn resident when we told him about the effort to increase tolls on the Dulles Greenway. So it's already uh, um, a heavy toll. As more workers are required to go into office, Dulles Greenway isn't just convenient to him, but safer. Uh, we are uh, charging more and more for safety. Essentially, I'm paying for my safety. The 14-mile stretch from the airport to Leesburg is owned by the private company Toll Road Investors Partnership 2. Under the proposal, drivers would have to pay $6.40 during regular hours one way instead of $5.25. But during rush hour traffic, the price would spike from $5.80 to $8.10 one way. I think it's infuriating that that's even a consideration. The people that are going to be suffering are going to be the small business owners that need to attract skilled workforce. Although it's privately owned, the Virginia State Corporation Commission still regulates Dulles Greenway. The board must approve any toll increase. In this online public hearing Tuesday, not one showed support. Will drastically reduce access to a vital transportation artery for a majority of Loudoun County residents. It adds time in their commutes. You know, it, it makes it harder for them to get home to see their kids at night, to get to a baseball practice or to get to a band concert or any of those things that we do. WSC 9 reached out to the highway company for comment, but have not heard back. In its application, the company says there's been a drastic drop in drivers because of the pandemic, needing higher toll rates to meet financial obligations. Latin County Supervisor Matt Letourneau says that means paying off debt. That should not be on the backs of the drivers of Loudoun County using the Greenway. That's the company's problem. Now, the next step is for the SEC to hold a hearing in late February. At that point, the commission will then review evidence and hear testimonies from the owner of the Greenway and Loudoun County officials. Leslie? See what happens, Matthew. Thanks so much.